Hello, my name is Christoph Conrad and I'm a technical evangelist with Adobe. In this video, I will introduce you to the new data centric features of Flash Builder 4. As an example, we will build a simple Twitter search application. This is the user interface of the application that we're going to build, and this is the Twitter service uh, that we're going to use. In this case, I'm searching on Flex 4, and I get back an XML document with a list of entry nodes containing details about each tweet. So I'm going to copy that URL and switch to Flash Builder 4 to build the application. I'm going to use the new data services panel in Flash Builder 4 and click the connect to data services link. I have a list of uh, server-side technologies to choose from, but because we are using a simple RESTful service from Twitter, I will choose HTTP. I will define a new service with a single method and I will provide the URL that we looked at before and define the parameter here, Q for query. Um, I will call the service Twitter service and keep the defaults for the package names and click finish. So as you can see, the service has been created with the search method. At this point, it doesn't know much about the return type of uh, that method invocation because we chose a simple uh, XML service. So we can help uh, Flash Builder a little bit by configuring the return type. And what's really going to happen here is that Flash Builder is going to invoke that service and analyze uh, the return type. So this is essentially the structure of the XML document. What I'm going to say is that I'm not really interested in all the information, the feed root node. What I'm really interested in is actually the list of entry nodes. Um, and I can keep the, the data type that's going to be generated uh, the default entry, or I can uh, name it tweet to be a little more specific. And now you see that the return type um, is an array of tweets. So what was actually uh, done here is that a list of value objects were generated, but also a, stubs, uh, a stub to the Twitter service, so a local object to uh, invoke that uh, remote service. So I can go back to my application in design view and right click the search button and select generate service call. And in this dialog, I can choose uh, the search service, uh, so, sorry, the search method of the Twitter service. Click OK. You see that an event handler is generated with a call to the search method of the Twitter service. And the only thing I have to do here is to actually uh, specify the parameter. And in this case, it's whatever the user is going to type in my search key uh, text input field. So I'll go back to my design view and take the search method again and drop it on the data grid. And I will say that I want to bind the data grid to uh, the result of that method invocation. By default, it's going to select all the columns um, in that uh, return type. And I can uh, configure that configure the columns and keep only what I'm interested in. So I'll keep published, title, and uh, author name. And click OK. At this point, I can uh, look at the source code of the application. Again, you see that we are using that a search method of the Twitter service. So I don't have to know how the Twitter service is actually getting the data. I get a nice uh, abstraction API here. And for the rest, it's pretty much business as usual. So I will save uh, that application, click run, and we'll be able to test the application. I will search on Flex 4 and or Flex. And here is the result of that um, query. 